Three. Welcome to the Hanya Show Queen to Queen, where global United Queens discuss mental health and daily challenges. Today on the Hanya Show Queen to Queen, our guest is a pageant, a pageant competitor and Spirit of Global United email in pageants. Mrs. Sal Dakota, Spirit of Global United is Tanya. Tanya will be discussing her views about mental health. So welcome, Tanya. Hello, how are you? It's a pleasure to have you. And I know we've been talking a lot, exchanging a lot of emails. And I know you're also part of the Spirit of Global United. I was also in there. So um, yep. my first question is, uh, Tanya, uh, what is the first, like, what, my first question is, how did your journey begin in pageantry? Um, it actually began in 2016. Um, I had had a car accident and I was actually feeling, um, really depressed and uh, I had stepped on the scale and I realized like I was 347 pounds and I was like, something's got to change. And so um, I actually currently weigh 270 and um, do, joining my first pageant was a encouragement to myself and just to help me stay encouraged. Um, I was looking for mental healing at the time as well. And one of my triggers was um, to, to uh, be out of control. And so when I was out of control, I would feel like really anxious and stuff. And so to kind of put myself into uh, the water, so to speak, I wanted to do something that would be out of my control, but I still had some control over. Um, and so I started looking um, at the pageants and um, my first pageant reign was as Mrs. Miller, South Dakota, America, and then um, that would lead to Mrs. South Dakota. Um, I did not win that pageant. I got the Community Service Award, and then, um, but I used the journey to help me heal mentally, as well as um, some of my other sister queens. I had, We had a veteran kind of join last minute that I helped her fundraise, as well as um, another queen uh, to fundraise so that they could actually compete. And um, so that was just one of my ways of uh, contributing and giving back. And that was actually my first title. And then that's, um, I started with uh, Global United about three years later. And then I went to Go Gold, which was a sister pageant. And then um, I also um, have been awarded Mrs. Black Hills. Um, which was uh, when I first started with Global United. And then um, that was the first runner up. And then I got to go to international finals and I won Mrs. Congeniality International. And then um, with, after that, I did the Mrs. Gold Gold during COVID. And then um, I had won that title. And then my current title is Mrs. South Dakota. Spirit of Global United is currently where I'm at right now, and I couldn't be more tickled pink to represent my state. Um, I have a post-traumatic stress disorder platform that I use. Um, I've been using it the whole time because um, it's invisible. And so what I wanted to show people with my own journey and um, my journey as a massage therapist is that they could heal. Um, it's not always going to be like 100% you're perfect, but it's definitely healing is possible and that there is treatment out there and that um, just like someone like me can definitely have those problems and that or challenges and that they are overcomable and you don't have to let them stop your day um, and just how to like get around those things. So that was kind of my focus and then just drawing um, focuses to other organizations and stuff that do provide that help that people don't really know about. So. That's what started it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And today's also International Pageant Day as well, right? So, like, yeah. as you look at pageants, like from a pageant title holder perspective or a pageant contestant, there's so much in there. Like, I can relate to you. Like, ever since I started doing pageantry, I, I felt like I, I'm doing something good. Like, I, yeah. I'm helping myself. I'm helping others. I have something to work at. Like, it keeps you yeah. motivated, right? It does. Yeah, definitely. 
Yeah. Because when you mentioned Miss Go Gold, I remember doing one this year. It was, I think that was Miss ne- uh, Nebraska, the one who was doing it. I think she like the Miss Junior one or Miss Teen one who did that. I think so. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I was part so. of that. I was second runner up for uh, that one as well. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so yeah I know you're in quite a few yourself. So, yeah, it's like <laughs> once, once you start, you, you just want to keep going. Like, that's why I'm literally, yeah. like, when I see patterns, yeah. I just want to do them. Yeah, then, well, you know, for me, it was definitely like I missed the sisterhood of it um because you know it's just different friends and um you know I really liked Global United because we got to meet people from all around the world and I just really liked that message you know like we could all be globally united and so it just it really spoke to me and yeah and then so um you know under my South Dakota title I'm actually currently working um with a partnership in Kenya even so I am still internationally globally united that's interesting (laughs) yeah and uh tanya my second question is what is your opinion on mental health and how does it affect uh every day oh mental health affects every day (laughs) um you know we definitely are already in our heads um we call them little voices you know you hear them all the time you know like you're not good enough you're not enough or um, maybe you just didn't receive affirmations as a child. Um, I definitely tried to raise my kids with those affirmations, like who you are, um, who you are in Christ, um, because um, because he does call us enough and he does make us matter. And so, um, you know, it's just with that message that you do matter because the God of the universe has made you matter. And um, that we are all are all prince and princesses in his kingdom and um, that you're worthy. And, you know, there's just so many people that just need that. But, yeah, we um, it definitely can affect your every day, you know, um, depression um, or just maybe depression can sometimes even feel like a strong word for people. I know it definitely has for me. It's like I don't want to say. I'm depressed, but I'm definitely deflated. I'm not as happy as I feel like I could be. And so, you know, you're looking for those answers. Um, a lot of people with post-traumatic stress, you know, you're, you just have triggers that can trigger an everyday thing and you have no control over it because you don't know what it's going to be until it happens. And so that can definitely make an everyday picture feel harder. Um, You know, uh, after my car accident, when I came home, um, nothing had changed, but it felt like a bomb had gone off and it it just, everything felt like it was really disorganized. And I know sometimes when I have those triggers again, it just still feels like it's extremely disorganized, but I just have to take that step back, usually take a breath and realize what's actually true. And so, um, that definitely helps me. You know, I deal with a lot of mental health through my massage therapy, um, you know, especially during COVID and shut-ins and you become isolated. Um, we saw a lot more cases of mental health um, issues go up. Um, sometimes drug and addiction will add to those mental health issues. So there's definitely, you know, there's a lot um, in there. So yeah, like, there, like, it's a big topic. <laughs> True. Yeah. Like I agree. Yeah. Like everything what you do, and especially like I know because I was in a car accident myself when I graduated from college, so I can relate to. Right. It took me a really long time, and the worst part that I had to deal with was getting employment after a year because I like I graduated, but I didn't have the experience after, so I had to get the experience from somewhere. So that's what happened for sure. Me. Yeah, so for sure. I can relate to you. And um, yeah. my third question is, Tanya, what advice would you give to someone with mental health situations or like issues? Um, You know, definitely seek out help. Um, There's a lot of different um, solutions out there. Um, It kind of depends on what what your mental health condition is. Um, If it's just that you need some self-care, that it's okay. Um, There's caregiver stress. Um, I feel like those tips probably helped me the most when um, I started looking at um, helping myself, um, because, um, there's some tips in there under the post-traumatic stress line of, um, having caregiver stress because always taking care of somebody. And so, um, it, it just kind of helped me realize like some of the self-care tips that I could do for myself every day, like, um, even taking a hot shower, you know, <laughs> um, reading a book, you know, taking, taking time for yourself, 
um, you know, we're surrounded with noise all the time, you know, noise, 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 computers, phones, radio, you know, so silence and um just enjoy the silence <laughs> you know and 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 prayer definitely always prayer you know um god's just such a good god and and um he he wants that intimacy with us anyway so um and then uh just you know i would say too um if you feel like you need counseling it's it's okay to need that and I know that's definitely something that I do with my massage therapy is to encourage that. Um, I have a lot of resources for South Dakota. Um, you know, I'm sure you do for your, where you are. Yeah. So it's just, you know, you, they can reach out to me um, definitely on Facebook or um, through my, uh, all my handles. <laughs> um, I'm pretty easy to find. Um, otherwise I would say like uh, if, it, if there are, not as in South Dakota, <laughs> um, there are some uh, national lines as well. Um, if you're considering like suicide, there's always a suicide hotline, um, you know, but I know that friends, family, um, a lot of people don't even realize how much they're loved by the closest ones around them. So just reach out to those people around you that you know are your people and embrace them back and just tell them, hey, I'm maybe not having such a good day today and that's okay. I agree. That's amazing yeah. that, you know, we just need to reach out. And I agree. That's all about like, you know, and then there's like services and all these things. And uh, I know you mentioned about the massage therapy that you do. That brings me to the last question. Uh, Tanya, we'd like to share your social media handles. Where can viewers find you um, as Miss South Dakota uh, Spirit of Global United 2022? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it would be on Facebook. Um, it'd be facebook.com, McGeorge Massage. And then um, my actual business page is mcgeorge.mobile.massage. Um, it's also www.mcgeorgemobilemassage.com. All of those you'll find me. Um, I'm on Instagram as Tanya McGeorge. Um, so I'm really not that hard to find. <laughs> um, and yeah, great. so, yeah. Okay, so to the viewers, make sure you follow Tanya McGeorge on uh, the social media handles as listed, as um, that is uh, the... It was McGeorge Massage, and there was another one. Yep. And um, um, it's McGeorge.mobile.massage. Yep. Dot mobile dot massage. And be sure to check yep. out <laughs> the Hanya Show, uh, Queen to Queen, uh, next episode coming in in the next month. And um, yeah. be sure to follow official Hanya Travels. And be sure to check out uh, Spirit of Global United and Global United Pageants. And thank you, everyone. Bye. Yeah, thank you, guys. Bye.